Hi, I'm Rabbi Emily Meyer, and this is Flipping Hadracha, a flipped classroom model for Madrachim, or teaching assistants, in Jewish classrooms. Today we're going to talk about nonverbal communication. What we say is important, but how we say it is even more important. In fact, people understand most of what we tell them not through our words, but through our tone and body language. When we interact, we communicate through eye contact, gestures, and body language. Eye contact signifies involvement and attentiveness. Looking students in the eye communicates that you care about them and are interested in what they're saying. A great trick that I once learned is that when you first meet someone, you should make a point to notice what color eyes they have. By doing so, you will always make good eye contact in your first impression. Gestures also communicate a great deal. There are some that most students already know, like putting your finger over your lips to be quiet, or giving a thumbs up when a student has done a good job. You can also establish signs with your class, like making a letter shin with your fingers for the word sheket, quiet, or lowering your hand when you want a student to sit down. Sometimes, individual students need special signs to help them remember to stay on track. So, if Alex is having trouble remembering to raise her hand before she speaks, you can agree that you'll touch your nose to remind her. Another way we communicate nonverbally is through body language. Keeping your arms open, not crossed, makes you seem approachable. Leaning in during a conversation shows that you're listening, and standing with good posture makes you seem confident. Students, parents, and teachers all pick up on your body language, gestures, and facial expressions. Remember, it's not only what you say, but how you say it. That's all for nonverbal communication. Thanks for watching Flipping Hadracha.